Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 13th of June comes to you from London and a sea of red on the screen this morning. Uh, we saw the US stock market down nearly 3% on uh, Friday. It was down 2.5% on Thursday. No big surprises here. Um, we've been talking about markets being lower for some time. In fact, if we go back to our March report on global markets, uh, we, it's, it's there for all to see. Uh, we were bearish on pretty well all stock markets, the Australian market being the only one really that was uh, bucking the trend, but even that will follow suit. Uh, so we see um, these, you know, the reports playing out. And it's worth just remembering Time Horizon. We put out our reports this morning and uh, if we look at the um, energy uh, report uh, we're we're bullish on crude oil for example for the week but for today we're bearish and that really highlights this idea of different time horizons uh, short term is is today very short term is today short term is this week medium term is this month and long term is this year that's one way to to think about it and our report reports cover all of those bases so uh, we put out a, a, an energy report for today and for the week uh, and that goes out on Monday mornings to every client for the for the week and then on the um, the day we put out the energy reports every day and you can just look back through these uh, at, at, at will. Uh, looking at the alerts, lots of downside targets. So we're seeing here uh, and we can just literally run through these news alerts will come into your system if you're an enterprise user in our new version. So a lot of these moves to bearish. So a move through the cloud there on the DAX and we can literally just go right down through these one there on the NASDAQ 100. Um, these all, all these alerts clicking in this morning, uh, a new short term downside target for Brent crude. Um, these are very short term, so these are for today, uh, hence our bearish stats. We're just seeing some kicking in for emissions as we speak. And that's the whole idea. The, the reports come out in the morning, but you need to just then watch the news items that effectively update the reports. And of course, you can also go to the chart at any time. So if you want to go to that Brent crude chart, you can go straight to the chart, the live chart, and you can see the news stories on the chart there as well. So really quite key there. Um, and you can and, and, and follow those charts. So taking a look at markets, we'll look at the energy mix in a minute, but taking a look at markets in general, it's all about dollar strength again, nudging new highs. We said that was going to happen because remember we were making new highs against the dollar yen and that was a lead indicator. And that means of course that the euro is falling away. We put that out in our weekly report this morning. The key level there is 103.50. Clients have all had that first thing this morning. And if you look at uh, the yen, this was the lead indicator. It was breaking higher already uh, last week. So we, we knew that the dollar was going to have a resurgence. And we see here sterling falling away. Um, new GDP numbers out this morning, disappointing. But no surprises there. Bad news happens in downtrends. Get used to it. That's what we're going to see. Uh, if we look at sterling against the euro, fairly static at 116.70. Euro slightly has the upper hand here. We see that on the medium term trend. Remembering this is my weekly, my daily, and my 60 minute chart, my long term, medium term, and short term view of the market. It's all about that time horizon. Remember, going back to that time horizon map, uh, we see here it's all about the time horizon. We're looking at minute charts for hours, daily charts, hourly charts for days, daily charts for weeks, and weekly charts for months, which is why we come back to this weekly, daily, 60-minute chart, this multiple um, picture. And this is running on Thomson uh, Refinitiv Icon, but you could easily be running on Bloomberg, Trayport, whatever data feeds you want to run in to your updater system, That's uh, that flexibility is there, and you can run all these data feeds in simultaneously, of course. So looking at... Um, Bitcoin, really big falls there. We said it was game over for crypto. Um, and, you know, really, I sold all my crypto the moment Bitcoin broke below that uh, cloud there and just out. And realistically, it's game over. Uh, we're now pushing towards these downside targets. We had big upside targets 
all negated once we started making these new lows below the cloud. So it's game over. We've been saying that um, crypto is now just falling and we've got downside targets way, way lower. So that's going to be really quite interesting. Uh, the S&P 500 index, we talked about uh, just making those big moves down. That was last week's candle there, the weekly candle. That's Thursday and Friday's move. So again, really big moves there. We're bearish. Uh, bearish and if we look at the futures today uh, we're down already two percent on the future so that's a further two percent on top of that five percent fall last week that's taking a seven percent lower since Wednesday and if we look at uh, the Nasdaq even lower here 2.7 percent lower just starting to make new lows and more importantly breaking below that weekly cloud new lows are bad uh, we are in bear trends as clear as day. Uh, looking at the VIX volatility, that's up into the 30s. The fear index is, when it's above 30, we're in fearful territory. The fear index is in the 30s. Looking at the FTSE future, down 1.3%. Uh, just couldn't break that uh, resistance level. The DAX, uh, the same, down 1.7% on the future, down 1.7% on the cash, just sinking lower. Um, any idea that there was going to be a recovery is now over. And that's why our bearish stance uh, since the start of the year, really, because we've been in this downtrend. It's just as clear as day. You can't ignore the charts. Uh, we saw Japan down 2.2%, uh, the Hang Seng down 3.4%, markets really across the board, China down just under 1%, the Sensex in India down nearly 3%, and again, just now testing new lows. This triangle pattern means that we will really uh, fall here. Downside targets of 11 and 22% uh, there. So you really can't ignore those targets. The Aussie market we mentioned was looking better than most. It's not got below the cloud on the weekly, but on the daily it really has. And so that's going to follow suit as well. We are just seeing a sell everything mentality across the board. Uh, looking at uh, grains, we've got wheat is actually up 0.6%. So that's bucking the trend of everything down. And corn also up a quarter of a percent. Um, these uh, prices, of course, fueling inflationary fears. Gold sitting at 1850 uh, so just uh, jumped to 1875 on those fears yesterday, but on, on Friday, but just, just pulling back now. But gold certainly looking a little bit better than it was. Uh, and if we look at US 10 year yields, we're sitting at uh, 323, so 3.23%, making new highs there. Uh, and that, of course, has activated the upside target of 4.1%. 3.6% is where we're going in the meantime. And if we look at the energy mix, we're bearish Brent crude today because we've fallen below the cloud and we've got these downside targets. We talked about that in our, in our report out to clients this morning. US Nat gas sitting. Um, again, just lower, but the trend is long term trend. This is the daily, this is the 60 minute. The long term trend is higher, the short term trend is lower. Coal, we cover that in our weekly report, not our daily report. Is There's not enough um, liquidity really to cover it every day. But in our weekly report, we've turned neutral because we are seeing downside targets on coal. And the same on emissions, that downside target now kicking in this morning. Gas is looking stronger, but just starting to fall back. We are bearish below the cloud on the 60 minute and on the on the daily as well. So we do have downward pressure. So we'll struggle to hold these gains with these charts. And German power, we turn neutral uh, today because again, we're back below the 60 minute cloud chart. Watch your OTC prices on Trayport. You look at the point and figure charts there. Your one minute charts will be giving you all the signals and the alerts and just you can watch those as they tick in uh, in your in your updater system. They're all just coming in here. So we've got nat gas alerts. Um, emissions. Uh, so this was overbought on the Bollinger Bands. That alert came in on your news this morning. So uh, keep an eye. If you want to try these alerts and all of the reports, uh, if you want to try all this, just take a trial of Updata and you can see all these reports for yourself go right the way through a monthly European gas and power report for all um, markets in Europe. So basically keep an eye on those targets. But this week is going to be a very tricky week for markets in general, seeing a lot of bearish sentiment kicking in. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, hang in there. Happy charting. Bye for now.